equation of a circle we need to see the standard form like x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared so this is the quadratic form and the center of this circle is h comma k so we just take the opposite sign on h and k here now if you have x squared plus y squared equals r squared then you can clearly see that h is 0 here and k is 0 so center will be at 0 0 and radius will be r now we have a couple of questions here first we see x minus 1 is squared plus y minus 3 squared is 25 so h is 1 and k is 3 then the center of the circle will be 1 comma 3 and the radius will be uh, square root of 25 which is 5 so we write square root of 25 that's 5 if you go to the second one your center will be take the opposite sign 1 will be negative 1 and negative 3 will be 3 and the radius is the square root of 36 which is 6 so you can say square root of 36 that is 6 when you go to the third example you have x squared plus y squared equals 16 so the center will be at 0 0 and the radius r will be 4 we are taking three more examples number 4 is x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 13 so what is the center and radius so the center for problem number 4 is at 1 comma negative 3 and the radius will be square root of 13 and you can leave it there now the second one is not either of these forms so we need to do some work here it's called completing a square so first look at that you have x square plus 6x that one you will do like x plus half of 6 which is 3 square plus take your y and keep the negative sign and then half of 10 will be 5 square it and then move your one the other side with a negative sign and then plus the square of this number here plus the square of that number will be here is 25 x plus 3 squared plus y minus 5 squared will be giving you here 33 so then center will be at negative 3 5 and radius r will be radical 33 so you are done for this next example so in these you have a leading coefficient say here they must be same otherwise it will not be a circle so then you have to divide by that leading coefficient so when you divide all the terms by 2 you get x squared plus 3 over 2x plus y squared plus 5 over 2y equals 3 now we do the same thing like example 5 you write here x plus take half of it or multiply this term by half so we get 3 over 4 and then square plus y plus half of it that will give you 5 over 4 and then square it keep your 3 now you square this number and add so in square that will give you 9 over 16 plus that one will give you 25 over 16 if you further simplify then you get x plus 3 over 4 squared plus y plus 5 over 4 squared equals on the other side you get add all of them together you get 82 over 16 so then finally we get center at negative 3 over 4 negative 5 over 4 and then our radius will be square root of 82 over 16 you can keep like 82 over 4 and you are done Thank you.